Good afternoon. Hey, uh, I figured I'd pass this article on to you. This is good. Um, ever since this Japanese disaster happened with this uh, nuclear meltdown and all this, all we've heard is how, um, oh, radiation, well, this, these are safe. You know, this is all safe that's going on. And wherever radiation's showing up, I, I know I heard in uh, Oregon and in uh, uh, Western Canada up there as well, and in California, wherever this radiation, anywhere it shows up, they're shutting off the monitors. Uh, and just telling everybody it's good, you know. I guess that, you know, uh, I guess they're going to come out, Nestle's going to come out with, you know, uh, plutonium ice cream sprinkles. The kids are all going to love that, you know. Here's a little article. This is from uh, George Washington blog. It's a uh, cumulative low low level doses of radiation can cause big problems. Well, of course, everybody knows that radiation is dangerous. Everybody knows it in it, you know, in any amounts. You know, if it wasn't, then why do we keep hearing for years about how, you know, you know any of it's dangerous? Why do you go to the doctor and, you know, anything that they're not x-raying, you know, first of all, they don't like doing x-rays. And when they do do one, you know, they cover the rest of you, anything that doesn't need to be x-rayed with a, you know, a lead blanket. Of course it's dangerous. Um, so this article, I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm just going to read the first few sentences. Um, when scientists speak of radiation, they speak not only of single doses, which was what they're trying to do now. They're trying to say, oh, well, we read this at this level. Well, that's not, that's not a lethal, you know. Okay, they not only speak of single doses, but also of cumulative doses. Okay, see, for example, this research from the University of Iowa showing that cumulative radon exposure is a significant risk factor for lung cancer in women. And see these stories, those are all links. This whole article has got like 20 links in it. That's why I figured I'd pass it on to you. Anybody with any confusion about whether radiation is dangerous or not, or whether, you know, 2,000 times the... Yeah, it is dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. So this thing's full of links. Um, and see these studies on the health effects of cumulative doses of radioactive cesium. As I noted on March 29th, the radioactive cesium falling out from Japan already rivals Chernobyl and the amount of radiation fuel at uh, Fuku Fukushima dwarfs Chernobyl. Okay, so everybody was saying when this happened that it was ridiculous to say that this was going to be, had potential to be like a Chernobyl. Well, I got news for you. That's far friggin' worse. So all, everybody who was back there writing me comments on, you know, on other videos or on my own saying, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, they're, all, you know, they're always there, but, you know, in your face now. Not only is it totally worse, many times worse than Chernobyl, Whatever, people. Anyway, admittedly, admittedly, the damage from the from huge single doses may be greater than the same cumulative dose for many small exposures, but the smaller doses still add up. Of course they do. I mean, the stuff doesn't go away, especially if the stuff's in the air, you're breathing into your lungs. You got that there for the rest of your friggin' life, and it's going to cause cancer. Many studies have shown that repeated exposures to low levels of ionizing radiation from CT scans and X-ray scans can cause cancer. Of course they can. That's why they don't like giving you X-rays, and if they do, they cover the rest of you with lead. It's dangerous. Of course it is. This just goes on to a um, uh, bunch of links. Um, talks about the military here. You know, the military very concerned with... Uh, uh, over in Iraq because they're using depleted uranium, which is really just a disposal. Um, any, anytime you see them using uh, depleted uranium uh, bullets and ammunition, first of all, it is to uh, slow kill the people. You know, second of all, it's a uh, it's a method of uh, dumping their toxic waste all around the world, and that's really what a lot of the, that's really what this comes down to. This is slow kill for the world population in full effect right now. That's what they're doing. That's why they're downplaying everything. That's why they're lying 24-7. Uh, man.
I, I'd, hey, I'd read this more for you, but I want to cut this off in about five minutes because I told somebody else I would. Um, anyway, take a look at this article and don't be fooled by these people saying that all this radiation they're finding everywhere is not bad. And how about all this radiation dumped in the ocean? You know, I saw a graph that shows where this is spreading. Where is that going to go? It's just going to stay right around Japan? No, that's going to be all over the place soon. In all the world's oceans, you know, turning the water sour. Yeah, I, I don't remember who said that, but yeah, it made the water sour. Anyway, um, thanks a lot for uh, listening. Check out this video. We'll talk to you later. Bye.